Mike G with MDG Collections on hand. Today, ladies and gentlemen, let's go over these taser features. A lot of people have been asking me, things aren't working. I'm gonna show you what settings you need to have on a 392 to make everything work. If you don't have a Charger 392, don't even waste your time copying these actual settings how I have mine it is completely different there's things that are different when you have a challenger and if you have a certain year it's just it gets too tedious it gets too particular I don't know what challenger you have what trim what year it depends on all of those different things it makes it hard when people with challenges ask me oh why isn't this working I don't have a challenger so I, I really don't know all right I would have to be in a challenger with you and, and, and I'd have to see it in person it's a little difficult to do on a video through comments. So this video is for people with a 392, whether you have a Scat Pack, a Daytona, or if you have an SRT. Okay, from the audio screen, you need to be on the audio screen, and you get there, you hit your down arrow, as you guys know, to get to your audio screen. That's where you need to be to see these settings. So once you get to your audio screen, and you hold down your back or your left arrow, you hold it down, and at the same time, you're going to press the cancel button, all right, which is right here. You're gonna hold this left key down, all right, this left arrow, and or back, whatever you wanna call it, and you're gonna press, while you're holding this down, you're gonna press this cancel button to toggle through, all right, I'm using my gimbal and my camera, so I'm not gonna be able to have the camera on that right now. You'll just be able to see this. Left arrow, and we're toggling through on the audio screen. Now, light show with question mark is gonna come up first. That is something that does not pertain necessarily for what I'm going to show you guys. You go to clear sales, skip that. Go to unmarry, skip that. Now, here we go, performance. This P-E-R-F question mark, that is performance, all right? That's abbreviation for performance. So now, to go in that, you are going to now hit this uh, center button right here, all right? It's called the cruise control button, right in the center. That center button is what you're going to press to select that. So once you select that, you're gonna go in and this is where you guys need to really pay attention and make sure your settings are exactly like mine. If you do not have a five speed, all right, most people with 392s have eight speeds, do not touch this. Sport five speed needs to stay at yes. Do not touch this. If you touch this, you will mess up everything. One setting wrong on the taser affects everything. It affects a lot of things, I should say. And then now you'll have issues and be wondering why things don't work. This is why, because you mess with this. Do not touch this. This is only for five speeds. The older transmission where it was a five speed. We have an eight speed, all right, 392 people. If you have a 2015 and up sport eight speed, yes. You wanna keep that to yes. That is our sport eight speed. SRT set, you need to have that to yes. If it is no, you need to change it to yes. It is very key that you have this set to yes. Performance set, you need to have that, you need to have that to yes. If it's on no, change it to yes. STP enabled, all right, STP is super track pack. That's what that stands for. You need to have that to yes. All right, if it's no, change it to yes. To select, to make it, to change it to yes, and with anything that I've just showed you guys, you wanna press that, that center cruise control button to make, to select this and change this from no to yes. All right, mine is already set to yes because I changed it. All right, I think standard, it comes no. All right, so now you're gonna go to the next one. Paddle shifters, you want that to be yes. Even if you don't use paddle shifters and you wanna just keep it no, you are going to mess things up and things won't work if you don't just put it to yes. That's the thing I think people are having issues with. They are thinking, oh, I don't want paddle shifters, so I'm just gonna have no, and thinking that everything else will work properly. That's not the case. Paddle shifters needs to be on yes, no matter if you use them or not, and within the taser settings, all right? It needs to be yes. Next. Your steering needs to be on SRT. I think uh, one of the settings, if I'm not mistaken, is uh, SCAT. And then the, another setting is something else. I'm not, I can't really remember off the top of my head, all right, because it's been too many, too many weeks or months I've had this thing, but just make sure it is set to SRT. Your steering needs to be set to SRT. And that's how you, you get everything changed with your steering to be able to be on the actual track mode and steering. 
Next. Drive mode needs to be SRT. Make sure you change it to SRT. Drive trans, all right, your transmission needs to be set to yes. If it is no, change it to yes. Shift light, you need to put that to yes. Even if you don't use the shift light, it needs to be set to yes. You can't just leave it no. It has to be set to yes for everything to properly work. Eco mode needs to be set to yes. These things have to be enabled to yes before everything can properly work. All right, and then that's it. Now, these other sub menus, tire, that's something else completely, all right? And if you go to the next one, radio, you don't need to worry about that. Lighting, you don't need to worry about that. Comfort, you don't really need to worry about that. And then here's your the latest uh, firmware, version 2.4.3. So guys, that is the settings you need for everything to work properly with the, with the SRT pages to be able to get track mode, to be able to have your shift light, and to have all the all the features configured and properly work together. They have to be those settings, all right? If you don't have those settings and you need to change to those settings, you do have to go through a sleep cycle. It may not work the first time. You may have to full reboot. You have to do a full reboot, all right? Basically, I've showed you how to do full reboots. You can go back to some of my old videos to see how to do that. And you may have to do two full reboots, all right? And then when you do a full reboot, you may have to let at least two sleep cycles happen before this works, all right? And basically, I show you guys how to do a full sleep cycle in some of my older videos, all right? If you guys can't remember how to do that, I'll do another video on that maybe tomorrow. But to keep this video short, I'm just showing you the settings that you need in a 392 to have everything properly work. So you won't have things on your screen saying unavailable. When people go to track mode or when they were trying to go to certain modes, it was it was saying this setting is unavailable. The reason why is because one of those features that I just showed you is not what I just showed you. They need to be that way. So hopefully that's clear for you guys, people that have been asking me, uh, inboxing me about these things. Guys, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be a wrap.